What's good, YouTube? First off, man. Uh, thank you for the support on the last video, man. Um, I know many of y'all probably not subscribed, but um, I hope you consider subscribing. Um, first off, I am K. Um, and this channel is the world of K. Um, really, I'm a box truck owner operator. Um, I've been in the game for almost two years coming up. Um, really, uh, I just try to give y'all the journey, give y'all different insights on what I go through in my daily uh, life, in and out daily routines, man. So uh, I'm a regular person just like y'all or, um, there's the industry is not immune to me. I'm not immune to it. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. <laughs> Stuff happens each and every day, and I just want to shed light more so on that different stuff. Uh, sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. Um, but I hope y'all consider subscribing. Ready, set, go. So first off, y'all, um, title of the video, y'all already know, why was I gone so long? What happened? What led me to sell the truck, as you saw in the last video? And I'm going to go more into detail about that um, in this video. So uh, to start, um, actually, I'm in, the, I'm in the Army Reserve. And I had, the reason why I say that is because I had annual training. And I had parked my truck at my grandparents' house. So I'm ready to get back on the road and stuff. And I come I come to my grandparents' house, start up the truck, let it run for a little while, because it, it was two weeks that I was away. Um, and I go to drive it, and it starts beeping consistently. I'm thinking maybe, okay, it, let me drive a little bit more to see if, um, it'll iron itself out because sometimes uh, the trucks give a cold or whatever and then it just kind of irons itself out if it's been sitting for a little while so um, then it goes to derate my truck 25% I wasn't going that far because I was just trying to still test it out so I went ahead and called Rush um, <laughs> $2,000 fix. It was the depth sensor and depth heater that had to get fixed. And mind you, they did not have the part, the part in stock. So that defeated me. Well, I'm not going to say that defeated me. That knocked me down for another three, four, five days. So um, come out of AT, get hit with that. <laughs> Number two, I get on the road after I've ironed all that out. So with these starters on this on those different box trucks, man, they don't give no indication that they're about to go out. Never gave me a struggle. But this specific day I was in Tennessee. Um I pull up to a fuel station. It was a shell station. Um get a little bit of cheaper fuel. And my truck won't start. So I had to call a mobile mechanic because I didn't um I knew they, they could jump off the starter because I have a mechanical background. I knew they can jump off the starter. Wound up calling two of them. One came early on and then the other came and he jumped it off. Uh, really, that became, I bought the starter myself and stuff like that because he was trying to get me to buy it from him. Um, that really cost me freaking, I don't even know, um, $1,300. So this was like week like maybe two weeks in between so um all right so um I, everything in this video is not bad it's just what led to the decision that i had to make 
in order to make my business kind of um, equal out. So, also, at this point in time, I knew I had my um, my other son coming, Kyle. Um, I'm going to put a picture in here, show both of them together. But, um, both of my sons together. But, um, my fiance at the time, um, well, we knew it was getting closer to time. We really didn't have all the stuff we needed in order to, um, bring him into this world and be able to uh give him like the bed and the crib and stuff like that so um then they said they were gonna have to induce her um i had a number that i needed to make in order to make things go correctly i had man it was just a lot so i had that timetable this gave they gave me this kind of maybe a month or two in advance maybe a month a month and a half and um i had i knew a number that i had to make because i had other plans which we'll talk about a little bit later um so <laughs> long story short the truck didn't make it until that due date it got derated again, and um, let's just say uh, it was another problem. We're going to talk about how much it cost, but I'm going to tell you what it was. Um, my EGR cooler and <laughs> my EGR sensor. Um, so that was another issue that came to pass, right? Um this was a th this was the one of the last straws that um actually broke the camel's back as they say uh this was thirty six hundred dollar fix like i mentioned um this happened like maybe a week or two before the baby was supposed to come well three weeks before the baby was supposed to come um and also i had other things that i had to do in order to get prepared and have the money so um and at this time, it had pretty much kind of depleted what I had because of fuel and all that stuff. So I had a number in my head that I needed to make. <laughs> Didn't make that number. So also, I got accepted into CDL school. So that was part of the number that I had to get up in my head in order to suffice my business while I took a month, a month and a half off. So all in all, I wound up taking almost three months, two and a half months off from the truck. Because once I once I decided to sell it, um I got I I almost got scammed twice. Um there's there's bad people in the world, guys. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but um, it, it took almost two and a half months because of the financing with the guy that I got to um, buy the to buy the truck from me. Um, it was just a lot. It was it was a humbling experience, and it really taught me to um, really spread out my horizons because there is a lot more I can do other than trucking, man. So, um, man, a lot happened. Um, so I had to stay out the road two, two and a half months. And by the grace of God, I made it through. Uh, we're back now, honestly. And on the brighter side of things, we have my son. He's healthy. Um, I got to spend a lot of time with him. I spent up until he was uh, two, two and a half months. Um, also, y'all, I got married, as you can see. This is not my ring. This is a rubber ring that I wear every day. Um, but, um, I also got married, um, which was also a blessing. Um, I'm going to post a picture of us at the, at the little wedding, but, um, like I said, man, um, if you're looking to get into this, it's an every day is not going to be easy. Every day is not going to be as hard as the last, um, uh, consistency is the key and, um, that's what I've learned on my journey. And I hope each and every one of y'all is doing good. I hope y'all continue to watch the videos. I hope y'all like and subscribe, man. If you found something um, interesting in this video or if you 
thought it was funny, if you thought it was uh, sad or whatever, give me a like, put me in the algorithm, man. Um, on the next video, I'm going to tell y'all how I got my CDL for free. So stay tuned for that. And um, this your boy, K. And hey, y'all be blessed, man. Stay loaded. I'm gone.